Senator, welcome to Alaska. We're so glad that you're here. And it's thank great you for, to be back. And thank you for taking a moment with Must Read Alaska just to talk to Alaskans and America about what's going on out in the world today. And I just wanted to ask you, uh, today's big news, Joe Biden, who is the presumed uh, nominee for the Democratic ticket, has chosen Kamala Harris as his vice presidential nominee. What do you think about Kamala Harris? Well, look, I think Joe Biden's move today is a strong move to lock up the San Francisco vote. And, and, and that was clearly hanging in the balance. Uh, they, they were afraid. Uh, listen, I, I have to say I'm not surprised. I've been predicting for a couple of months that Biden would, would pick Kamala. Uh, but, you know, Kamala Harris is not the only vice presidential nominee for Joe Biden. Right alongside her is Elizabeth Warren, is Bernie Sanders, is AOC. Those are the voices that are driving the Democratic Party. Those are the voices that are behind this ticket. And those are the voices, frankly, that if God forbid, forbid they win, are going to be driving the entirety of the agenda. That means a radical left-wing agenda. That means socialism. That means, that means defunding the police. That means attacking energy. I gotta say for the great state of Alaska, I, I'm from Texas. We believe in energy in Texas. We believe in oil and gas in Texas. If Biden and Kamala Harris get in, you better believe they're going to come after every good energy job in the state of Alaska. Every worker that's working on a pipeline, that's working on an oil field, they're going to do everything they can to take those jobs away because you know what? They're working for the California environmentalist billionaires and not the working men and women of this country. And, and this, is a, this is an election about really the direction of our whole nation. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you for Must Read Alaska and welcome to Alaska. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Absolutely. Thank you, Senator Cruz.